What if your life was a movie? What would it be like? first met back in 2013 in, in Laguna and she wanted to take a photo with me. No, that's, that's not true. Anyways, at the time I was a missionary brother for the church. I didn't want to become a priest. That wasn't my plan. I just wanted to do something great and serve God somehow. But my real passion is to make films. My dream is to be a filmmaker. Okay. One more take guys, come on. We got this. Let's do this. We both loved movies. <laughs> cut, cut. I loved watching Just them. Right he loved making them. Even when I was in Jersey and he was in the Philippines, we would joke that I could be his leading actress. Okay, love, whatever you say, love. Great, okay. One more take. We can do this, guys. Let's do this. One more. Hustle. Oh, okay. Fate had it that I would leave Jersey and return to the Philippines. I was so nervous that I was going to meet RJ for the first time in person, in the flush. Sometimes when I'm shy, I don't know how to interact with people. And I think he thought I was snubbing him off or wasn't interested. But the truth was, I was just really scared. Both of us faced a life-changing decision to choose one life for another, one person for another, one happiness for another. It wasn't an easy choice for any of us, for it would mean letting go of something special, something beautiful. We prayed, we discerned, and we knew we wanted a life rooted in God's love, for in our love, God lives. She made me her choice, I made her mine, and from there our romance bloomed like never before. For the first time, we realized that our dreams in life could actually come true. Please put your phone down.
Rochelle, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> to my Rochelle, my amore, hashtag the love of my life, my mumu, it's happening, it's happening. Against all odds, we're doing this. I know it's been crazy these last few days and weeks, and especially this day. I cry when I think of you because I don't want you to be sad. My new mission on this earth is to make you happy. That is my vocation. And I am blessed because of it. I know God wants this, or else it wouldn't have happened in the first place. God loves us so much, he's not going to let us go. He wants us to be happy, and I pray that I am making you happy as God wills it. If I can describe the couple in one word, uh, I would say perfect. Destined for each other. If I were to describe a couple, they are match made in heaven. If I were to describe the couple in three words, it would be a creative, dynamic, and avant-garde. In a few words, it would be unconditional love. I just want to say I love you. I just want to say thank you because you're always there. You try to understand me. You listen to me. You're patient with me and you accept me for who I am. So yeah, thank you, Moo. <laughs> I love you. We got this. Let's do this. Hang in there. And now uh, with all the struggle, the difficulties we had these last few days, and the stress, it's worth it. It's, it's worth it so much. This will pass whatever stress you've gone through. But, um, we have a whole lifetime now. It's going to be so beautiful. Ngayon pa lang, we would like, I would personally like to commend and congratulate Rochelle and Ronald for even just coming here today. It takes a lot of courage to be able to do that. Palakpakan nga po natin sa Pampalakas ng loob. Di na kabahan na Because today too, they are they will witness to many of you here to the importance of marriage, to the importance of sacrament, to the importance of having to have God to be involved in every relationship, especially in marriage.
What if your life was a movie? What would it be like? Yeah. 